What is up, y'all? This is gonna be a fun video here today. So fall is here in full effect. Halloween is literally like right around the corner. Today I'm gonna be doing like another Halloween themed fishing challenge. So some exciting news. I got my girlfriend Kelsey with us here today. We are parked outside of good old Target. We're about to go in there to the Halloween section. She's gonna help us pick out some Halloween candy to actually fish with here today. All right, so let me stop talking. Let's see what this Target Halloween section is all about. Woo! Here we are, the Hein Eek Boutique. Dude, there's like freaking rows on rows out here. Ooh, ooh, Skull Trooper. Oh, dude, they got the Master Chief on deck here. They have some very interesting um, adult Halloween. <laughs> Look at this dude right here. That guy's having a great time. We got the lollipop, we got the hamburger, we got the snow cone. It's actually a pretty good deal. So if you guys have been watching for a while, about like two-ish years ago, I came into Target by myself around Halloween time and I found three different Halloween candies and I went out and fished with them. I'll link that video like up here. This time around, we have my girlfriend Kelsey here. She's gonna be picking out three different candies for me, like Halloween stuff in these Halloween aisles. I have no clue what the heck she's gonna do here, but they have a lot of stuff to work with. So yeah, I guess you get like a big bag that has like a bunch of different options or I don't know, whatever you, you just gotta pick three different candies that I can potentially catch fish I, whatever you think is fish catching a bull got the ghoul aid on deck here the lady potentially stares down the fishing lures very intently what are you looking at there oh, where is it where is it last time i actually fished with some candy corn hello you pick something out yet you have a lot of time here what is the first reese's pumpkins all right reese's pumpkins all right Oh my god, all right, do you have another one in mind? Yeah, she always loves her trolley sour stuff. All right, so got two candies. Oh, geez. Reese's Pumpkins Trolley Sour Bright Crawler Minis, AKA literally her <laughs> two freaking favorite candies. Why did I let you pick the freaking, what the heck is that? Pumpkin Pie Kit Kat? I mean, you've been looking around here for a little while. She's starting to uh, judge you here. What? <laughs> Spooky nerd. Holy crap, dude. That is freaking huge. Oh my god. Good, my dude. I just feel like Halloween stuff is so interesting. Like, people buy, like, it's like a freaking bat skeleton. You got. What is this? Oh. Jumbo furry spider. The spooky mix. That's like your other favorite. Are you just buying this to eat or you buy your freaking fish? Dude? I don't know where I put the other candy. All right, so can you please, ma'am, display what you want to, uh, me to, uh, yeah. All right, so first, coming in hot, we got Sour Patch Kids. What is actually in that? So we got Swedish Fish and Sour Patch, I guess just normal Sour Patch Kids. All right, this is, um, yeah. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next. This is going to be a little interesting. Oh, boy. We got the trolley. <laughs> oh, my God. We got the trolley Sour Bright Crawler Minis. Those are, I mean, I honestly really do like those candies. What do you think is going to be the easiest one that I could uh, catch a fish on? Mm, the worms. Not the Reese's? <laughs> the rest stay at home with me. Oh my god. I think we should buy this over here. It's so freaking big, dude. Alright, I think that kind of does it here for our shopping expedition here at Target. A lot of fake pumpkins. We still need to buy it. Like, we haven't even bought real pumpkins yet. We should do that, like, one of these days. Put this on the door after Chipotle. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good deal. This is Halloween. Can we just take a second? Look at these freaking trees. Right here, Kelsey's already cracking into this. We got this whole bowl of candy. She just kind of threw everything in there. We're going to take one of each. All right, it is a freaking beautiful day out here. We have officially made it to the fishing spot. We left Kelsey back at home. She has to do some stuff. Here are our baits here for the day. I think, I mean, starting off, I'm gonna have to go with these little trolley go. I mean, the freaking dude, the Reese's, man. All right, so we got Swedish Fish, Sour Patch, Reese's, and trolley little gummy worms. Water's super clear. It was really shallow last time I was here. The water level seems to have risen a little bit. Let's crack these suckers open right here. Ooh, these are a lot smaller than I thought they would be. Hold on, let me get a little taste test real quick. Yeah, those are good. You know what? This might just work. All right, so how the heck am I gonna try to catch a fish these little gummy worm thing, little thing. We're rigged up on this rod right here. I actually have a little Ned Rig jig head. I'm gonna see, hold on. Let's try to rig this thing up here. It's gonna be super sticky once we throw it in the water. Try to get that a little. Oh my gosh, this is, 
Holy crap. Let me try to stretch it a little bit. I don't know, man. All right, well, that is the first, <laughs> that is the first bait of the day. Let's see how it looks in the water. Really doesn't look that bad, honestly. Kind of just looks like a normal Ned rig. I am kind of worried that it's going to deteriorate and get real sticky and just fall off or something. Let's give it a cast here. Oof. I forgot the bottom of this pond is super algae too. I feel like each of these baits is gonna have a short lifetime. Come on, man. Freaking algae, dude. Well, I guess the good thing about fishing like a bait like this, I bet you these fish have never seen freaking gummy worms before. Oh God, that's not where I wanted it. Just one fish, man. That's all I'm asking for here. Oh my god, I just got bit. Oh my first fish of the day. Oh my god, oh, the freaking gummy worm, dude. Holy crap. Oh my god. Dude, literally on the freaking gummy worm. Come here, boy. Oh, that's a nice one. Ah, let's go, dude. First fish of the day on the is it still on there? <laughs> Hanging on by a thread. Little gummy worm. Holy freaky crap. Dude, that I mean, I thought that was bigger than. It was fine pretty good. First fish of the day. And also first fish Halloween fishing candy fishing challenge thing. Oh my gosh. Freaking dude. Thing felt like a big one. Ooh. All right. Thank you so much, buddy, for biting. Let's let you get back in there. All right. Gummy worm on fire. We're going to stick with it here. Let's try a different color out. Orangey, reddish, getting a little sticky. There we go. It's looking kind of good. A little chartreuse tip. Let's try to get another one on this, man. I'm just going to keep throwing this around a little bit because this is... I mean, really what I have the most faith in at the moment. Definitely. I mean, the freaking Reese's. Oh, God, I left the Reese's over there. Oh, did I just get bit again? Oh, God, there's wind blowing this way. I keep getting hit with all these freaking spider webs. I don't know. I guess these spiders are trying to, like, I don't know, man. Is that a snag? The heck? What is it? What? What is that? Candy's still good. Oh, we got the Swedish fish too. I have a good feeling, kinda actually, about the Swedish fish. I, I think I have something in mind that might work. Oh my god, I just got bit. Oh, I'm getting bit. What the heck is going on? You guys see that? Something's biting it. To be honest, I have absolutely no clue. What kind of fish are in this body of water either? I know there's bass, but there's gotta be some smaller stuff, right? The real nice thing about these like tiny little gummy worms is that I feel like they kind of could look like some natural, I don't know, like some little larva or like insect worm thingy. I mean, it definitely looks more natural than a freaking Reese's floating around. Okay, that's the snag again. It's over there now. There must be some kind of pipe or something. Holy, this was not, oh my God, this fish is so aggressive. This was not part of the freaking, oh my gosh. That's a decent fish right there, dude. Holy crap, this was not part of the freaking challenge. I just had this little route trap. I was like, you know, let me just toss this around. Oh boy, a little bit. This guy has some sharp old teeth. I mean, this guy fought definitely a lot bigger than he is. Nice little fish right there. Let's get him back in. Boom. Yeah, definitely a lot of freaking salad. I don't know, I just had to, I had the urge. Just wanted to throw the trap around, do a little bit of trapping. Whew. All right, switching gears here a little bit. We're gonna go Swedish fish route. Taste test, definitely passed. All right, now I have no clue this is gonna work either, but I have this little 164 ounce trout magnet jig head. It's gonna have like literally absolutely no action. Let's see how it looks in the water real quick. You know, that actually, that actually looks, <laughs> looks kind of good. What the heck? Here's a little peeper over here. There's a little frog. Oh my god, that's freaking GG's. I don't know, I just don't know about the Sour Patch Kid and the Reese's. This is like, I mean, this is, if I catch a fish on this, you guys gotta give this video a thumbs up, man. Did not look as good when I just reeled it back in right there. <laughs> Looked a lot better the first time. We're jigging it around. I feel like if I put this on a bobber, it'd probably be a lot easier, but I don't really want to do that. Okay.
Okay, so the last time that Kelsey was in a video on this channel, she was actually picking my fishing lures, real fishing lures at Dick's Sporting Goods. In that video, some of y'all gave me a hard time because I might have influenced her opinion, like just a little bit on what to buy. So in this video, I completely gave her free reign on what to buy. You know, what candy that we had to go out and fish with. So you guys saw the first pond I was at. I was there for a while. You saw my plan of attack kind of for the candy. I really only leave in these two right here. So I fished at that pond for a while. It was a smaller pond, so I thought it would be easier to locate the fish and maybe actually have a higher percentage of catching one on some freaking candy. Yeah, we fished there for a while. You guys saw what happened. After that, we actually went to a different pond I had no freaking bites. And then today I went to another pond and then I went to a spillway. And I mean, I'm not gonna show you guys the footage because it's literally just me not catching fish. So uh, yeah, it's not a complete fail. I mean, we did manage to catch a fish on the little trolley gummy worms. And I think, I mean, I'm pretty sure on my channel before I caught fish on Swedish fish. If I find the video, I, I freaking forget what video it was. I'll leave a link up there. Today and yesterday, I actually did attempt to catch fish with the Sour Patch. I tried to put this on a drop shot. I have no freaking clue how the heck do you fish a Sour Patch kid? If you guys are not familiar with the candy, this is what it looks like. It's just like sour gummy candy. Like how the heck are you supposed to catch fish with this? I was thinking with the gummy stuff too. I could like melt it and create, I don't know. I just, I just it felt not right. You know, I wanted to keep the integrity of the candy kind of in a similar shape ish now here's the biggest question of them all how the heck like if you guys had live his life or death you could only catch a fish with a reese's and you had like one hour what would you, like how, how do you catch a fish or freaking reese's peanut butter cup again if you're not familiar this is what it looks like chocolate on the outside peanut butter on the inside how the heck are you supposed to catch a freaking fish with this man so yeah if you guys have any ideas please leave it down in the comments below the only real idea that i had was maybe i could like kind of mush it together and add some oats and some other stuff and try to catch catfish or carp. But again, that's like not catching the fish really on the candy that's catch, I, I don't know, you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, I actually really spent a lot of time on this video. If you guys did enjoy it, if you want to see Kelsey in more videos, make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It really would mean a lot to me. This was honestly probably one of the hardest like true fishing challenges I've had to do in a while. I mean, especially at Delaware. It's not easy to catch fish right now at the moment, like in general. I'm just happy that we actually caught a freaking fish. If you all do enjoy my videos, make sure to go down there, click that subscribe button. And if you never want to miss an upload from me, go down there, hit that notification bell. That'll make sure that YouTube lets you know, actually, you know, when I put out a new video. Comment winner from the last video is Lucas Lopez. Shout out to Lucas. If you guys want to win a shout out at the end of the next video, all you got to do, man, go down there, leave a comment. So, uh, yeah, as I said before, I did spend a lot of time on this video, but we got to move on to bigger and better things unfortunately i cannot try to fish with candy for the next freaking week we got some other ideas that are going to be even better than this it was just like this is a really tough challenge man i'm not gonna lie especially in the fall yeah man as always thank you guys so much for all the support it truly does mean the freaking world to me it's just it's so crazy man thank you kelsey for making this challenge freaking hard dude it could definitely have been worse yeah thank you guys so much for all the support again all i gotta say man is let's keep this rolling thank you guys for watching see you next video